air brake systems on some trucks use separate quick release valves mounted to the axle close to the brake chambers. These parts aren't available on any of the model truck kits on the market and I wanted to add them to the Transtar 4300 so that turned into a simple scratch building project using this reference photo from an Air National S Series 2600 as a guide. One valve is connected to the service brake chambers and the other to the parking brake chambers. This downloadable manual which I found online has a lot of good information for modeling purposes and has pictures of several typical quick release valves. I also had a real quick release valve to work with, a model QRN-2 from the previous photo, and this became the basic guide for material sizes and proportions. Measurements of two and a half inches wide by one inch thick work out to 100 thou by 40 thou when divided by 25, so I went with 100 thou wide styrene strip, although I went 60 thou thick rather than 40 for reasons of practicality to be able to drill holes through for the air hoses. Step one is to file the end to a half round shape. Parts this small are very difficult to hold on to, so the styrene strip itself is used as an assembly jig, and one of the very last operations will be cutting free the finished part. A disc is punched from 15 thou thick styrene and glued on the bottom to represent the exhaust port. The Micromark punch set which I used is sized in metric, and the 2.5 millimeter punch is a perfect size for this application. Two discs punched from 20 thou styrene using a 1.5 millimeter punch are glued on the sides, and these represent the ports where the air brake hoses attach to go down to the brake chambers. After the glue had cured thoroughly, the fittings were drilled out to fit the air brake hoses. I'm using wire that's 025 diameter for the brake hoses on this model, so I use an 032 diameter drill for the fittings. I drill part way through from one side, and then finish the process drilling from the opposite side. This way, any misalignment would be in the middle of the part and not visible. Side view showing the drilled out port, and this also illustrates why I went with a slightly overscale thickness of 60 thou rather than 40 thou for reasons of practicality. On the top side, another styrene disc 1.5 millimeters diameter, this time punched from 30 thou thick styrene, is glued on, and it's topped with an air fitting, which is made from 40 thou square styrene strip, drilled 025 diameter partway through, and cut approximately 75 thousandths of an inch long. A rib made from 30 thou square styrene strip, cut 70 thousandths of an inch long, is glued on top. And the last piece to be attached is the mounting flange, which is cut from 20 thou by 40 thou styrene strip, 100 thou long to match the width of the valve body. And now the finished valve can be cut free with a fine tooth razor saw and set aside. A total of four valves are required for this project, two per axle. Most trucks that I have seen, including the example pictured here, mount the quick release valves back to back on a bent metal mounting bracket, which is in turn either bolted or welded to the axle. This is definitely a modeling application where I think metal is the best way to represent metal. Here I'm using KNS 016 sheet aluminum cut to the width of the brake valve at the top and tapering out slightly towards the bottom to match the prototype. With the very small contact area and dissimilar materials, I prefer to drill and pin a connection like this, and aluminum is easy to work with, making a simple matter to drill and pin using 20 thou brass wire to attach the brake valves. One set of quick release valves attached to the mounting bracket and ready for installation on the axle. I've left the mounting bracket extra long so that it can be installed into a slot cut in the axle housing rather than just relying on a glue joint. A series of holes was drilled to match the width of the mounting bracket and the slot was cut to size and finished using a number 11 hobby knife blade to match the mounting bracket. 
The decision to make the aluminum brackets came about later in the project. In future, I'd cut these slots before the axles were installed on the truck, but it isn't impossible to do it on board, as can be seen here. Mounting bracket is trimmed and tapered as necessary to fit into the slot, and glued in place to complete the installation. Adding hoses from the brake chambers to the quick release valves completes this portion of the project. These little parts aren't that hard to scratch build, and they're quite visible, especially on tractors with their open frames, so they're a detailed part that's worth adding. Thanks for watching this installment. Next up will be the rest of the valves and plumbing to connect the axles to the rest of the truck's braking system.